Hi everyone, Kristen Roberts with United Way of East Central Iowa. Thank you so much for standing by us during these crazy times of the COVID-19 pandemic. As we know, the issues that we have seen emerge from this just continue along the lines and they will be with us for far reaching times. A lot of what United Way does is external facing and many people know us for raising funds and distributing those to agencies. Some of the other work that we do doesn't get as much high visibility and that's why I have two visitors with me, Katie and Kyle. They are AmeriCorps vistas who are helping us be able to identify and set up a system in which we are able to help those who have lost jobs either through layoffs or furloughs and being able to help them get into the healthcare system so we are social distancing with this interview and so Kyle just tell us a little bit about what you're doing yeah absolutely so essentially what we're doing is connecting those who have just recently been laid off or furloughed uh, connect with health insurance organizations and people that know the ins and outs of the healthcare system the different options that are available and they can help people get registered so these organizations include uh, Lynn County Public Health uh, Unity Point and His Hands Free Clinic and some others as well so we're creating a scheduling system that will be able to connect people that need health insurance with those that have the expertise to help them get it. Which is all part of the collaborations piece that United Way really focuses on. Now as these two switch places, Katie, I want to ask you as you come on up, <laughs> why did you want to become a VISTA? What was the draw for you? Sure. Well, I'm a student currently at Luther College back home for the summer in Cedar Rapids where I grew up. Um, I've done a couple internships here in Cedar Rapids, so it's cool to be back working with um, some of the same people as well. But I think the thing that drew me to Vista is uh, the emphasis on creating long-term solutions. So creating the scheduling system, making the connections between the differing um, healthcare programs is really something that's going to last beyond the pandemic and beyond what we're seeing right now and something that will last into the future. Thank you so much, Katie. I really hope what you get from these two are the collaborations and the long lasting impact. It's what United Way does and it's what we do well. Thank you for continuing to stand by us during this time and throughout the past and into the future. Be well.